laid out on the floor, right? She is less than a foot away from me. And I'm on the floor dying. I mean, dying. Do you hear me? My wife ain't budge. But not at all. This hussy, I'm, he I'm literally hearing her. <laughs> So, hello there, mother suckers. This is another episode of Red Lips Chit Chat and Fashion with Nayron. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a chit chat or a story time. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. Okay? But this will be episode 12. Also, this episode will be another slurred video. So, let me say this. I'm kind of I'm kind of trying to figure out whether or not I want to go to this event down here because it's going to be a couple of um go go all stars. It's going to have um a dude from Backyard Genghis uh, Steve Roy, Wincy from Backyard, and then this other dude. I think he's from Junkyard Band, but I'm trying to figure out whether or not I should go. But the problem is that, see, I know my hood, but I don't know these motherfucking hoods. Okay, now it's a whole day party, okay, going on down here. It's a whole day party. However, I don't know them motherfuckers over there. Okay, so, I don't... What? So, the first thing I want to talk about is um, this. So, the first thing I want to talk about is... So, let me tell you what happened. I kind of talked about this the other day when I was not feeling well the other day, y'all. For real, right? What happened was my wife went to this market. And I call it the Hong Kong market because the Asians own it. Matter of fact, I think that is what it's called. I think it's called the Hong Kong market. I don't know. And she cooked this fish. And she in her feelings because she thinks that she's responsible for trying to, you know, poison us to death. I told the girl I don't know. Because right after we ate the fish, we got our fat asses up and went down there to the Hogan Dolls. And, you know, both ate a pint of ice cream separately i had a pint and she had a pint an hour later oh that's um, my stomach was burling you heard me it was burling and then my wife's stomach started burling child now because my wife has been around a long long time with me she knows that i have a very very sensitive stomach even when i go under surgery or go under for surgery i have to have a um something put in my cocktail so that I won't throw up afterwards. I've never had a surgery and didn't throw up afterwards unless they've given me something to make me not throw up, okay? So I'm not gonna put foundation on today, guys. I have two foundations in there that I like very much, the uh, Christian Dior, uh, Dior Flash, and the Chanel uh, Le Tint. But because my color or my skin tone has differed so bad from the beginning of the summer to now that I can't use neither one. Like when you wear um, like foundations that are not your right color, you tend to look gray. And that's what's not going to happen. You're not going to have me looking like the ditch digger's daughter on this camera. That's not going to happen. Once we ate the fish, I think it was red snapper from the market, right? My wife fried it up real good. You know, it was good, okay? My wife is so bougie. I keep trying to tell her that she is bougie. I have catfish, uh, whiting, uh, flounder, all this other shit that she be doing. Like, oh, I like to have rainbow trout. I be like, rainbow trout? What the? Y'all, my wife is so bougie. I didn't realize how bougie she was until we actually was in this together, living together, child, babe. What happened was, after we got finished eating the ice cream, stum our stomach started burning, right? Now her, she just was able to resolve the problem, okay? that She, was, she resolved the problem, and she came and got in the bed. Me, on the other hand, it was different. It, child, I was in the bathroom all night 
Do you hear me all night? It's three o'clock in the morning. Child, I'm so fucked up. I am on the floor. Do you hear me on the floor? Now this motherfucker right here in the bed snoring. Child, I, I didn't even have energy to move, to breathe. So let me tell you this. It's some very good things about being married to a nurse. You know, a lot of stuff you really don't have to go to, you know, like the hospital for. Like, if I feel like my pressure is up, I could be like, babe, go ahead and take my pressure. If I don't have my um, cup together or, you know, a lot of things that you really just don't have to worry about, you know, or you don't have to cons consult your doctor for because your wife is a nurse. But, child... Uh, this one right here, she was going to let me die. Do you hear me? She was going to let me die down there. So after my wife took care of whatever situation she had going on, she went to the bathroom. She handled her situation, got in the bed, went to sleep. Me, I was up and down all day going night because my stomach, I have a weak stomach. I can't, I, I don't know what it's about, right? So here I am, 3 o'clock in the morning, scratched out on the floor, in my bathroom, because her bathroom is on the other side. My bathroom is in, you know, in the master, right? Child, we will always have separate bathrooms. The only thing about it is I'm just around here cleaning up separate bathrooms and separate rooms because she got a dressing room. The extra room is like when somebody's not here staying in the extra room. That's her dressing room, child. So I got to clean that shit up. And then I got to turn around and clean the bathroom up. My bathroom, keep our bedroom clean, plus the entire... Child, and then my wife, when we go buy a new house, right, we fit, we shopping around for a new house. Let me tell you something about this house. Her thing is, um, okay, let's go ahead and get this four or five bedroom because we can afford it. Who the fuck going to be cleaning that up? Because my wife does no cleaning around here. She don't do no cooking, no cleaning, nothing. Because she figure all I need to do is just pay the damn bills. Yeah, she, yeah. She going she, she gonna to get it. Okay, so today what I'm using is a mini Bobby Brown. Oh, today what I'm using is the mini Bobby Brown brick. Love it. I used to have the big one, but I lost it somewhere along the way. But I love this. And the color I'm going to be using is this white shimmery color. I know you're like, now you be wearing the same look all the time. I'm waiting for my new eye makeup to come in. Is this right? Am I supposed to be doing my um, lashes like in your face? I don't think so. Oh, how about this? Child, one of these eyelids, look, this one right here, be hanging low. This one be, this one been sleep my whole life, y'all. You hear me? So anyway, I'm laid out on the floor, right? She is less than a foot away from me. And I'm on the floor dying. I mean, dying. You hear me? My wife ain't budge. But not at all. This hussy, I'm, he I'm literally hearing her. <coughs> okay. I'm going to this mascara on, damn it. So I'm laying there on the floor, right? A foot away from a nurse, dying. My guts is coming out of my top and the bottom, okay? Dying, this hussy in there sleep, knocked out, okay? And when I finally pulled myself together, I was like, bitch, you almost let me die. I almost kicked the bucket. 
less than a foot away from you. She was like, what happened? Nigga, the same thing that happened to you. You know my stomach is worse than yours. You know I can't handle all that pressure down there in my gut. I can't handle it. The next day, oh, baby, I'm sorry. Wake me up. Wake you up. I'm down there out of breath. I can barely breathe. I'm sweating. Like I done stole something from the daggone church, girl. What the, what, what the, yo, listen, as my mate, this is what I feel, okay? And y'all could be calling me petty, but as my mate, you should be able to feel when something is wrong. My wife can't turn over twice without me saying, baby, are you okay? Is something wrong? My wife can't cough without me saying, you need some water? All I got to say, you have your perks to being married to the wife, to a wife. I didn't get that perk that night. Now let's move on to watching movies with a nurse wife. What movie was we watching? We was watching some BET movie, right? Oh God. It was Drea in the movie. What was the name of the movie? Child, and it was so like predictable. It, it was Drea. It was the guy. Damn, I forget the dude name. Anyway, I put the title of the movie, you know, below. Mugs. Did y'all know that the least with that Elise Neal was the originator of the pussycat doll ideas? Did y'all know that y'all they took that and stole that from right up beneath of her? You heard me? It's a shame how they do us black women sometimes, especially you, BET. Cause y'all had that they looking like an old lady who lived under a tree. You heard me? In that movie, she ain't had no makeup on. That wig was about $13 on sale. I mean, it was anything. But I told y'all, BET, uh, 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 uh. I mean, they like one step above TV one when it comes down to movie productions. Well, hmm, they did real good with Bobby Brown and New Edition. But I don't know. They must have spent about $13 on this movie. Anyway, the lady was in the hospital. At least Neil was in the hospital because, you know, the uh, crazy girl, Drea, cut the brakes on the car. And let me tell you something, they had showed like the numbers, right? I couldn't even join the movies because my wife was like, look at those numbers. Those numbers ain't real. And then I said, what? Then they talked about everything that the woman went through, that she had, was in a concussion and that she didn't lost like movement in her arms. She can't walk, she can't breathe. And when the camera panned over to Elise Neal, all they had was oxygen up her nose. My wife goes, she went through all that and all they got is oxygen in her nose. That's never, I said, baby, this the movie. She was like, but look at the numbers. The numbers don't even add up right. What, what, what is this? This woman should be dead. Look at you, said, this is ridiculous. They need a consultant, they need to hire me. BET, they, you do need to hire some kind of person in the medical field because them numbers was looking real dead-ish over there. At least Neil was looking real dead-ish. And I was like, you know what? She did go through, you know, some kind of coma situation and all they had hooked up to her was some oxygen up her nose. Child, baby. Anyway, I said, babe, it's the movie. Don't ruin it for me. Don't do that. So when you're watching the movie with a whole nurse, an RMBS in, and it so happened to be like some hospital stuff going on. Oh, them motherfuckers will ruin it for you. You hear me? My wife definitely ruined it for me. I couldn't even pay attention to the rest of the movie because I was like, yeah, that is messed up. How they going to have that? Them numbers do look bad. I, I forgot what the premise of the movie was because I was so worried about the lady's numbers on the daggone screen. She was like, it's beeping, but there should be no beep because the woman is dead. Remember the place you gave it? Yeah. When I say you being married to a whole nurse, be a whole trip? Yeah. You gotta be real careful with this liquid shit. So, oh, ladies and gentlemen, please remember to like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. Now, remember this, the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. Have a good one. Deuce.